Hello guys and welcome back. In this video we will be talking about annotations. Again very important topic. Playwright allows you to group tests into suites, use custom tags to mark specific tests which can be run together or to simply skip or only target tests which you want to run. First one is skip which allows you to select and mark tests which will be ignored during the test's execution and for that Playwright gives us a keyword skip. So let me show you. Here, instead of commenting out this test, we can simply mark it with skip and Playwright will ignore it. So I'm gonna uncomment it. And here, at the test, I'm gonna type dot skip. And now, if I run all the tests, this one will be ignored. So let me show you mpx playwright test and as you can see the test with selectors is marked as blue and it has been marked as skipped. Next annotation we can use is dot only which allows you to select and mark individual tests which will be run and the rest will be ignored. This is very useful while developing new tests or debugging the failing ones. So let's scroll down and let's mark this test as that only. And if I now go and execute the tests, only this one with assertions will be executed and the rest will be ignored. So let me show you. MPX playwright test and as you can see it's running just one test using one worker and the test which has been executed is assertions and you can also target multiple tests with that only not just one if you want to run only two or three or more tests you can do it with that only annotations as well so I'm gonna target this and I'm gonna do test that only with working with inputs and if I now go and execute the tests it will take this one and this one and it will execute them both so let's run it again and as you can see now we are running two tests so first working with inputs and the second working with assertions and the rest of the tests has been ignored now let's take a look at one more very important annotation and that is dot describe which allows you to group any number of tests into one test suite. But first, let me remove the dot only from both of the tests. And let's say I want to group these two tests into one test suite. So what I can do is just grab them and I'm gonna cut them out and I'm gonna create test.describe I'm going to give it a description, my first test suite. And remember the describe is not asynchronous function, so no need to use async here. And I'm going to paste it inside. And what I have done now is I have put these two tests into the test suite called my first test suite. And the keyword to achieve this is test.describe. So let's now run the tests again. And as you can see, nothing has changed, basically almost, except here you can see that the tests are visible under the name of the suite. And this way you can create multiple test suite as you want and you can group multiple tests together to keep your code more clean and organized. So that's it. That was a quick overview of annotations. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use tagging with Playwright.